Imam al kadhim alayhi salam states the most generous act is serving and helping our Shia respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The narration I just mentioned is embodied through the millions of pilgrims who are flocking towards the holy shrine of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. We see various ages and various segments of the community serving the lovers and the pilgrims of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. Before I begin talking about the atmosphere and talking about the life of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam, I would like to condole you respected viewers as well as condole Imam Sahib al-Asr wa zaman may Allah hasten his reappearance, our pious scholars, the Ahlul Bayt, and these beautiful and dear pilgrims of Imam Musa al kadhim for the martyrdom of our seventh Imam of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam, the ninth infallible Imam Musa bin Ja'far al kadhim peace and blessings be upon him. I would like to narrate today some key facts regarding when the Imam was first imprisoned in 164 after Hijrah. Al Mahdi al Abbasi went to Medina and upon his visitation to Medina, he saw the Imam and became jealous. The hatred that descended from his uh, ancestries was revived within him and resulted in him taking the Imam to Baghdad and imprisoning him there. But later on, he freed the Imam because uh, the people were retaliating against him. Why, did, why is the Imam in prison? However, in 170 after Hijrah, the most cruel and tyrannical leader or caliph, if you will, Harun al-Rashid, may Allah curse him till the end of time, came into power and during his reign, Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam faced severe oppression and many difficulties. He was imprisoned for almost 19 years. However, the Imam remained patient. Harun al-Rashid, may Allah curse him, placed spies over the Imam to see what the Imam does, his actions, his speech, what he says. However, one day a spy, a spy heard, overheard the Imam saying, Oh my Lord, you know that I have been asking you to spare me time to devote myself to your service. You have done that, so praise be to you. This is a lesson which Imam Al Jawad teaches us, and this is what is illustrated through the millions of pilgrims walking to Imam Al Kadhim. When people ask how, is that when we go through difficult situations, we should always remember the oppression that Imam Musa Al Kadhim went through. He lived in a prison that you can even that you can't even barely walk in. Yet the Imam alayhi salam was patient. It remain Imam alayhi salam Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam remained in prison for the last 19 years of his life. The 19 years of imprisonment gave the Shia population a little relief as the rulers concentrated over the Imam. It enabled the Shia to disperse to disperse from Arabia to Iran to India thus spreading the actual message of Islam and that's how the eighth Imam became popular amongst these nations. As regards to his morality and ethical excellence, Ibn Hajar states, the patience and forbearance of the Imam of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam was such that he was given the title al kadhim the one who suppresses his anger, the one who suppresses his sadness while making a smile on his face. He was the embodiment of virtue and generosity. He devoted his nights to the supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his days by fasting. He, was, he always forgave the people who wronged him. Now I would like to comment on this because Imam al kadhim alayhi salam, as mentioned in this uh, narration, it says that he forgave the people who wronged him. Today as I was walking in, you know, with the pilgrims, something very emotional happened. Two pilgrims were walking and the other pilgrim did something and this other pilgrim, this man, tripped over him and fell. He hurt his hand. The other man came and said, I would like to ask for your forgiveness. You know, please forgive me. This man says, I forgive you for the sake of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. This word, I mean, I forgive you for the sake of Imam Musa al kadhim is something important to touch upon because 
whenever we are in life, if someone wrongs us, we should always keep in mind that forgiving someone is absolute generosity, an absolute kind of help. Why? Because Ahlul Bayt always emphasize on this fact of helping our Shia, helping our lovers, our Shia, you know, doing anything you can for the sake of pleasing our Shia. And forgiveness is a way of pleasing the Shia of Ahlul Bayt It continued, Imam Musa al Kadhim was also known his kind and generous and generous attitude towards the people was such that he helped the poor of Medina by providing them with cash, with money, with dirhams, with dinars, whatever you want to call it, uh, food, clothes, and other necessities of sustenance secretly. Imam Musa al Kadhim did that secretly. Why? Because he wants to teach us a lesson. A lesson that if we want to donate something, we don't have to do it publicly. If we keep it a secret, the reward at, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is greater than publicating it to the general public and telling them that we did this and this to the poor. Keep it within ourselves so we may get the reward by Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam. It continued to be a riddle for the receivers of gifts throughout the lifetime of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam. They didn't know who the benefactor was, but the secret was not a secret anymore until the death of Imam Musa al Kadhim alayhi salam. Time and circumstances did not permit Imam Musa al Kadhim alayhi salam to promote and to teach uh, the ways of Islam like his father Imam Ja'far al Sadiq, like, like his grandfather Imam Muhammad al Baqir alayhi salam. Yet he still did it secretly to the people around him in prison. He influenced so many people. He was in prison in, in, in Basra and the, the prisoner of the time couldn't handle Imam Musa al Kadhim. He didn't see anything but righteousness, piety, uh, religiousness from Imam Musa al Kadhim. So he contacted Harun and said, I don't want this man to be here. I can't bear this man. This man is too religious. Why is he in, in, in jail? Harun she took him and took him somewhere else. But I would like to mention something that's very important, is that when we touch upon this action that's going on behind me, millions of pilgrims have come. Why? Don't we ask ourselves that why do millions of pilgrims you know, walk miles and miles? Today I saw a Pakistani woman who actually walked from the border of Iran up to Baghdad. That's, a, that's approximately five to six hundred miles away from Kadhmiya. If you want to touch upon that, people are so ambitious to come to the Imam, peace be upon him. Why? Because as soon as they enter the holy shrine of Imam Musa al Kadhim alayhi salam, they go in, they kiss the doorstep, they kiss the steps at the holy shrine and say to the Imam, Oh my Imam, relieve me from my stress, help me and grant me the wishes. But on the 25th of Rajab, now I would like to mention something regarding the martyrdom of our beloved Imam. On the 25th of Rajab 183 after Hijrah, the Imam, and this is very sad to narrate, because the Imam was poisoned by the cursed Harun on the 25th of Rajab 183. Even his corpse was not spared humiliation and was taken out of the prison and placed on the bridge of Baghdad alone with shackles all over his body. People looked at that and said, what's going on? Who, who's, who's the coffin for? The army that were carrying the coffin said to uh, the Shia of Imam Musa al Kadhim, they said, this is the Imam of the Rafa. This is the Imam of, this is your Imam. This is the Imam of the Shia. The followers of Ahlul Bayt, the lovers of Imam al took the sand and placed it over their heads, started hitting themselves, lamenting over this tragic event. Yet, we see now, where is Harun and where is Imam Musa al Kadhim alayhi salam? How many people, how many pilgrims have come to condole or have come to send their salams to Harun? None of them. All of them have come to condole and to send their salutations and salam to Imam Musa al Kadhim alayhi salam. Yet they are one beside the other, one in hell and one in heaven. So after the burial ceremony, uh, 
Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam was buried in an area, uh, the Quraysh ceremony, now known as al kadhimiyyain Why al kadhimiyyain Kadhimiyyain is plural, not singular. It's because Imam Musa al kadhim and Imam Muhammad al-Jawad are buried next to each other and they are two. That's why it's called al kadhimiyyah as we have it today, the holy city of Kadhimiyyah. But we're going to go into a short break now to show you what the lovers of Ahl al-Bayt are doing. So we'll go into a short break and stay tuned. Peace be upon you, O son of Ja'far al-Sadiq. Peace be upon you, O son of Muhammad al-Baqir. Peace be upon you, O son of Ali al-Sajjad. Peace be upon you, O son of al Hussein, the father of freedom. Peace be upon you, O the son of Ali ibn Abi Talib, the commander of the faithful. Peace be upon you, O the son of Fatima al Zahra. Peace be upon you, O the son of the Messenger of Allah. Peace be upon you, O my master, Imam Musa al Kadhim, alayhi salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected viewers, brothers, and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this exclusive coverage as we are in the Holy Shrine of Imam Musa al Kadhim alayhi salam, bringing to you the atmosphere here and how the Zawar are flocking towards the Ahl al Bayt, the, to the Holy Shrine of Imam Musa al Kadhim alayhi salam. But uh, just a short narration from Imam al Kadhim alayhi salam, he says, On the day of resurrection, there will be a stand on the divine throne for four individuals from the past generations and four individuals from the future generations. He says, Nuh, Ibrahim, Adam, Nuh, Ibrahim, Musa, and Jesus are the four individuals from the past generations. Muhammad, Ali, Hassan, and Hussein are the four from the later generations. Then food will be served. Those who visited the holy shrines of the Imams of Ahlul Bayt will be invited to that meal. And he says, the visitors of my son, Prophet Muhammad continues, he says, the visitors of my son's shrine will be the foremost and the most favorable to my heart. When we do hear that, we find that visiting the holy shrine of Imam Musa al Kadhim salam is the same as visiting the holy shrine of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him and his purified household. Respected viewers, I urge you to take this moment and send your salutations, send your blessings upon the two Imams behind me because it is a very rare situation to be filming from inside the holy shrine of Imam Musa al Kadhim alayhi salam and his grandson Imam Muhammad al Jawad. So, respected viewers, without further ado, I would like to, you know, let the cameraman show you around and show you how the holy shrine uh, looks like right now. It's approximately, uh, you know, midnight, past midnight, approximately 1 a.m. Yet we are in the holy shrine of Imam Musa al Kadhim alayhi salam. So, uh, stay tuned for the upcoming
respected viewers, welcome back. Uh, the report that you were just shown was from yesterday at, at midnight. Uh, we couldn't stay at the hotel. Uh, we had to leave because we saw all the pilgrims from the window. Uh, we saw them walking and they were in thousands. You can't even uh, have a footstep, uh, you know, on, on the street. So we left and went to the Holy Shrine of Mamus al Kadam alayhi salam. We did the ziyarah on your behalf. We prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the Shia of Iraq, to protect the Shia all over the world. And what I really liked from yesterday is that you'll see the Holy Shrine of Mamus al Kadam has advanced, uh, you know, drastically over these years. And that's what's beautiful uh, about it. But I want to comment on the atmosphere right now. We've been three days providing you live footage this morning and afternoon. We're approximately, we're approximately 500 meters away from the Holy Shrine of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. And it's actually a blessing. I keep on repeating it because it's actually a blessing. And I repeat it again. It's actually a blessing to be here on such an occasion, such a tragic occasion to bring to you uh, live coverage from the holy city of Kadhimiya. As you can see behind me, millions of pilgrims are walking towards the holy shrine of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. Over the past three nights and days, we have witnessed something very unique. Me personally, I haven't visited Kadhimiya in approximately nine, nine to ten years. And this is uh, the second time I've visited Kadhimiya in my life. So I'd like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on such an occasion. But here's a dear pilgrim uh, who has come. Salaamu alaikum. Allah khalikum insha'Allah. Minin jayin? Min Nasriya insha'Allah. Min Nasriya? So he's saying that he has come uh, from Nasriya, which is south of Iraq. Ejeetu mashi siyara? La ab siyara insha'Allah. Ana talib. Khalasat imtihan. Ujeet insha'Allah al-awasi. Lima amal qawam al-hujjah. So he's saying that he's uh, a student and after finishing the exams, he has come to the holy city of Kadhmiya uh, to condole uh, our beloved 12th Imam, Imam al hujjah may Allah hasten his reappearance uh, for the martyrdom of his grandfather, Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. What is Imam al kadhim Shonha. نحن متمسكين بهذا الخط بخط أهل البيت. نقدر بس خلي كمل موكب. Respected viewers, tune in for the procession that's passing by right now. That's the coffin of Mahmoud Al Kadam عليه السلام. It's actually beautiful to see this. Uh, I know in Karbala, uh, I had the privilege of uh, covering such mawakib, but especially in Kadhmiya, when you see the coffin of Mamus al Kadhim alayhi salam, it's very unique. But back to the gentleman right here, Alaqtak uh, Mamus al Kadhim alayhi salam, is shown. Nahnu Shi'at Amir al Mu'minin, Tarbutuna Alaqatun wa Thika, Bi Ammetin al Athar, Wasaaruna Ala Nehjahum, Wamudafina al Hakahum, Wamudlumiyatum in Kabil Ada, Wanahnu Thabitun Ala Adahum, Lihma Belagabin al Dahar. ومهما حاربنا الأعداء وسنموت من أجل على كلمتهم والسير على دربهم وتطبيق مبادئهم وسير على مسارهم الذي سارونا عليه سارونا عليه ووجهونا نعوة نعم so he's saying that we are the Shia of Ali ibn Abi Talib عليه السلام the commander of the faithful and despite what the enemies want to do or kill us or anything we will still continue the message of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam because it's in it's embedded within our blood, it, it, it runs through our veins, in our hearts, in our soul, to defend and to raise the voice and the teachings of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. كم يوم صار لك من جيت الناصرية اليوم جيت لو صار لك كم يوم؟ اليوم جيت أنا طالب كلية هندسة. نعم. خلصت الامتحان اليوم بعد عشر ظهر وتوجهت إلى الإمام موسى بن جعفر بعد ما أكملت الامتحان إن شاء الله. ما شاء الله موفق إن شاء الله مية بالمية. So he says that he actually finished the exams today at 11 a.m. and he straight took a car and came to Kadhmiya to visit the Holy Shrine of Musa al Kadhim عليه السلام. شو تحب تقول عن موسى al Kadhim بهاي الليلة؟ أدعو من الله وبهذا الباب موسى بن جحفر أن يرفع هذا الغم عن هذا الأمة وينصر شيعة أمير المؤمنين ويدحر أعدائهم وينصر مرجعيتنا الرشيدة وعلى رأسها الإمام السستاني على الله مقامه إن شاء الله تعالى ويحفظ شيعة أمير المؤمنين وإن شاء الله يعطينا مرادنا موسى بن جحفر إن شاء الله الله يحفظه إن شاء الله so he's saying that I I beseech Allah سبحانه وتعالى through the right of Imam Musa al Kadhim عليه السلام to protect the Shia of Iraq, to protect the Shia all over the world uh, and, and to help 
and to aid everyone and to protect the pilgrims uh, flocking towards uh, Musa ibn Ja'far and to protect our pious uh, maraja and our pious uh, scholars. Nishkurkum. Uh, موفقين إن شاء الله الله يتقبل زيارتكم إن شاء الله موفقين الله يخليكم الله يسلمكم respected viewers uh, it was very emotional you know uh, someone at 11 a.m. finishes exams uh, he's an engineer and uh, engineering uh, faculty uh, in Nasriya or I don't know what uh, university he said I don't think he mentioned university but uh, he finishes the exam at 11 takes a car and comes here but the roads are closed from approximately five to six miles away uh, from the area we are in right now so they would have to walk five to six miles uh, and then another 500 meters to get to Imam al kadhim alayhi salam uh, so may Allah subhanahu wa that's a beautiful child right there uh, but yes we are in the holy city of Kadhimiya, approximately 500 meters away from the holy shrine and the atmosphere is getting uh, you know nicer and nicer uh, every day uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect these beautiful pilgrims uh, and you know uh, take them back safely uh, to their homes and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is a special dua may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant everyone the ability to serve these pilgrims now I would like to take the opportunity to send our salutations to Imam al kadhim alayhi salam and send our salams to Imam al kadhim so tune in watching at home at the comfort of, of your home uh, let's get together and send our salams to Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam peace be upon you O the Lion of Baghdad peace be upon you O the gate of fulfillment peace be upon you O the gate of salvation peace be upon you O Musa ibn Ja'far al kadhim wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh O Allah I beseech you through the right and through the imprisonment of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam to relieve the stress of all your Shia, of all your believers, of everyone that has come to you with, with such passion to reach your holy shrine and to relieve your stress, th their stress at your, uh, at your holy dome and at your holy shrine, at the doorsteps. Yesterday you saw in the reports we were honored to be uh, in the holy shrine of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam and what an honor it was because when you go in it's a different vibe yes you go to Najaf and visit yes you go to Karbala and visit but when you come to uh, Kadhmiya when you come to the holy shrine of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam muwafaqeen Allah shafiqum inshallah Assalamu alaykum qabli shwaya anta tahti ala no kull nas yimshoon aw yindafoon aw ay shi bas yidun yosloon الإمام موسى الكاظم عليه السلام الاسم بالخير حسن صبيح من منطقة المعامل هيز هيز نيم إس حسن صبيح فروم المعاميل ديستريكت هير إن إن بغداد يعني هو هذا السؤال شوية معروف والجواب واضح بس ليش إجيتوا؟ على حب للموسى بن جعفر الكاظم من عقيدتنا ونسأل من الله ورسوله أن يحفظ العراق كافة نعم سبحان الله عليه الله يخليكم سو هي أي أي أسك ذيم إتس إتس ريتوركو كويستشن بات we need to hear the answer because everyone has his own purpose of coming to visit Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. He says, I have come here to condole Imam Sahib al asr wa zaman and to send my salutations to our beloved seventh Imam on uh, the night of his martyrdom. Imam al kadhim alayhi salam? يصير إلهة هذا ما يعني فتشي شيء فتشي داخل ما يعني ما دافعا على الناس ما حد يقدر يوصفه ما حد يقدر يوصفه أيوة. So I ask him what is your relationship with Imam Musa al-Kadhim عليه السلام How strong is it? He says it's Islamic. It's something in in embedded within our lives, within our souls that I can't really express because you know when you see someone that can barely walk, he's being pushed by a wheelchair just to get to the Imam and right now it's very crowded you, you can barely put your footstep uh, within uh, on on the street yet we do see the lovers of Ahl Bayt alayhim salam walking being pushed uh, on a wheelchair I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless everyone Hajjina uh, Risale ila Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam 
نسأل من الله ورسوله وموسى بن جحفر كاظم أن يستر العراق وكافينا شربا نادا سلامتكم يقضى حاجة المحتاج وسلامتكم الله يستركم إن شاء الله معه. الله يحميكم إن شاء الله الله يوفقكم إن شاء الله شفاء وصحة الله يخليكم So I asked him what would you like to say finally to Imam Musa al-Kazim alayhi salam He says I would like to ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to relieve the stress off of Iraq and to help the Iraqi community and the Shia uh, across the world and I would lastly um, thank you respected viewers for tuning in today may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you all your wishes and help you uh, to you know wish and I urge you to do this wish to actually come to Kazmiya on such an occasion because it's a different vibe you do come on a regular day but on the martyrdom it's something unique all the services that are provided here you will never find them across the year and nowhere else except in Iraq, in Kazmiya, in Karbala, in Najaf, you know, just to condole Imam Sahib al-Asr wa zaman for the martyrdom occasions of our beloved Ahl, uh, Imams of Ahl Bayt alayhi salam. So lastly, I would like to thank you very much for tuning in in this exclusive live footage from the holy city of Kazmiya. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.